thank you very much, uh, David. Yeah, it's really good support. Uh, I have a great, a great, he's uh, the best, great brother. <laughs> For me, it's like, sorry. <laughs> um, yes, now we have another, of course, reflection from uh, Amanda, Amanda to Mongelo. Oh. Yes, this is Amanda. Amanda. She, yesterday, with a daughter, she uh, animated our entertainment. Yes, <laughs> it was really great. Thank you. Well, I don't even know where to begin. It's absolutely a privilege to be here. Can you hear me? Can oh, you hear me? Yeah. Um, anyway, it's such a privilege to be here. And especially in the Middle East, it's something that maybe I'm not that familiar with. And I've learned so much this weekend. I just have met so many, had many chats with different people through the, through the sessions afterwards and I'm, I'm just deeply moved. Of course I'm living on the west coast of Ireland so I have a very different reality, day to day reality. But especially at the moment my heart is troubled, you know, and I, I often, you know, at night time think I take it for granted, I just go to sleep. Nobody's ever going to come down, you know, near me, the little Maureen. And it's just the safety. I don't think about things. I just go to sleep at night. And I was thinking, wow, you know, we really take that for granted, especially in the West and in Northern Europe. And we do look from afar. We are troubled. And I know in Ireland at the moment, people are really concerned. The way we're really, what can we do? How can we get involved? And I think by being here and by having those personal conversations and those personal testimonies, even though they were really harrowing um, and desperate and something that we've never really experienced. Um, but it shows me that this is at least a way by understanding, by discourse, by meeting together, maybe I'm not in that particular difficult, harrowing, violent circumstances, but we can really support, even by together in our own communities, this is something that I think will inspire even our youth, where we have different issues, you know, and I'm really wondering where's the love and the human dignity? We're having, you know, different issues in Ireland at the moment, especially with the education system. And I think this is something that we need to raise that awareness and gratitude and human dignity and love for each other, to support each other and also for our environment and just to spread our vision a little bit further than just at home. So thank you very much, everyone. It's a total pleasure to be here. Okay. Thank you very much, Amanda. I'm sure that uh, if you are able to write a reflection and send it by email, it would be also nice if you wish. It's really wonderful. So now we are coming to the Global Women Peace uh, Ambassador Award. And I will ask uh, Mrs. Uh, Miki Thomas and uh, uh, Mrs. Moriko Ori to come, and Marcia as well, yes.
ますか
about no peace without women, but also there's no peace without your fathers or your brothers because they go out to war in order to protect their, their, their wives and their, their children. They don't want to send out the mothers and the, or the children out. So they have a mission in that We all have our mission and calling, and men have this kind of urge of protecting their families and the women. You know? They don't want them to go to violence. I, I know there are there are men who do abuse women, and I have met in, in my life many women who have gone through abuse behind closed doors, where men brutally beat them and abuse them verbally. But you know, not all men are like that. There are many, many good men. So um, yeah, I think we are really great people here, and we have been guided here for a reason. Uh, we have a uh, Yes, the Global Women's uh, Peace Initiative, which is really important. And I think when I gave my opening remarks that we have to work together. There's no way that the Women's Federation can make an impact. But once we're united together, we can make a huge impact. And, uh, and also, I remember hearing from uh, one person, one of my pastors, so we may be a minority, but when we have God with us, we are the majority. So I believe in that. So even if you think you're a minority, one or two people, but if you have something greater behind you, you are the majority. So always keep that in your mind and never be fearful of what you want to advocate for. And also I would like to recognize our international president, Mrs. Monica Hori. She's incredible. I mean, she's just taken on her role as the international president. And she's out there, you know, uh, in, went out to, you know, to Rwanda and the other African countries. And because for so long, for over 20, 30 years, our Japanese uh, volunteers had gone out there. And nobody knew what they were doing. You know, they're doing their vocational skills and uh, volunteering and leaving their husbands and their children behind in order to help uh, others who are in need. So because of that, we were really granted our UN status. So I take nothing for granted about our UN status. We're so proud. We're standing on such incredible foundation of these women. So we really, really want to uphold our organization for them because they, they offered themselves totally. So I'm really grateful, actually. So let's work together and let's really um, make a difference in the lives of people who really need our but also, before we fin before I finish, I'd just like to call out the core members who really organize this whole conference. I think uh, if you could come out or just stand up, or come, if you could come to the front, I'd be really grateful. You know who you are.
in the individual with the chairs on the meat. And we can take out this table. Maybe a photographer, if you know better. Yeah, I don't know. 